September, September 5th, 2008. Thanks for stopping by. Got a lot of interesting things to talk about today. Um, I don't know if you've been watching the uh, the Democratic and Republican conventions. I've seen a little bit of them, but I couldn't stomach to watch any of the speeches. Uh, I just, you know, I can't stomach watching the mainstream news. Uh, and actually, I think it's better for you if you don't watch it. Seriously, it is. Um, a weapon that they use against you and uh, so I urge all of you not to watch the news if you want to be informed don't watch the news uh, get on the internet and look things up research Google that's the only way that you're going to find out anything but don't watch the news um, if you can help it don't pay attention to the politics don't watch the convention now, the reason why I say that is, it's just nonsense. These speeches that they're making, they're just hot air. They're lies, they're propaganda, they're just pretty words. And uh, it's pomp and circumstance. Now, what's happening outside of the conventions? Well, people are uh, protesting in large numbers. People are angry, people are mad at the Democrats and at the Republicans because they're not really representing us. These, these things, this, uh, this political scene is just a big sham and people know it. And uh, the interesting thing that's happened is that uh, as people have been uh, protesting, which by the way you won't see on the news, I guarantee you. I don't watch the news, so I'm not absolutely sure about this, but I, I would really be surprised if you'll hear anything about any protests. But they're happening, okay? And the response of the police is random violence. Um, they were firing uh, grenades, smoke grenades into the crowd, uh, they were, you know, not incendiary or explosive grenades, but they were very loud. They were very uh, frightening. And they were firing firing them at these people, and they could have injured people. Uh, now, these police officers, they're dressed in riot gear with helmets, visors, batons, all in black, with no badges, no name cards, nothing, no identification, which is against the law. Okay, and this happened at the Republican and the Democratic Convention. They um, attacked the protesters. They um, arrested people en masse. Okay, so they, uh, I know at least one incident where they arrested everybody on the street, including the innocent bystanders, the people who weren't even um, protesting. And of course, protesting, nonviolent protesting, it, there's nothing wrong with that. that. You shouldn't be arrested for that anyway, because you're just exercising your First Amendment rights, okay? But these people were arrested, all of them, and hauled off to jail and kept uh, detained until the end of the um, uh, convention in, in both cases. Uh, they didn't just put these people in free speech areas for a while. They put them in jail until the conventions were over. And uh, there's a pattern. This happened in 2004, and it's happening this year too, okay? They're breaking the law. Uh, they're violating the, violating the rights of hundreds of people at a time, and they're planning for it. In other words... The Republican Party has already promised to give the city of Minneapolis uh, about $10 million, the first $10 million of civil lawsuits against the city. Uh, the Republican Party is going to pay for it. So the Republican Party is paying the city of Minneapolis to violate people's constitutional rights. Okay, this is what's happening outside these conventions that you've been seeing on TV where everybody's clapping, everybody's happy, they're making these speeches, they're talking about 
you know, endlessly talking about how uh, uh, Barack Obama is going to change things, or they're endlessly talking about how McCain was in the army, uh, and outside they're busting people's skulls, and they're getting ready to pay damages to these people. Okay, uh, in 2004. They paid out hundreds of millions of dollars in damages to people because they violated their rights at these conventions. And there's no telling how much they're going to end up paying to people this time. But you know what? Um, I think that's a good thing for us. Uh, if you want to know the truth, uh, you know, why not go and get some free money? Go protest, get arrested for no reason, and held in jail for a week, and then sue the city and get your money. Uh, you know, if all of us did this, we'd put a real, you know, thorn in their side, I think. I mean, let's face it, folks, there's a lot more of us than there are of them, and they can't pay us all a million. They can't print money that fast. Okay, so, anyway, it is, um, it is a rather disturbing uh, sign of where our government is going and where our country is going. Uh, but, on the other hand, you know, it's foolish for them to think they can do this to us forever. They can't, uh, they can't arrest everyone in America on false charges and then pay a civil, you know, lawsuit, pay damages. They're just not, there's not enough money. Okay, um, I wanted to mention one other thing about uh, uh, Sarah Palin. She is a governor of uh, she's the governor of Alaska. It seems that she is actually a religious fanatic. She uh, she's a Pentecostal. She believes in the rapture. She's got uh, a flag. She's got the Israeli flag in her office. Okay. I think, I think I'd be more comfortable with somebody who had the American flag, personally. But she's got the Israeli flag in her office, the flag of a country that is violating more uh, international law than any other country on earth. Uh, you know, a country that is in violation of more UN resolutions than all other countries on the earth combined. And if you don't believe me, just look it up. Uh, ask Amnesty International. Ask uh, uh, Bet Selim which is a Israeli human rights group, to ask them about Israel's human rights record. Uh, Israel, just as Jimmy Carter has said, uh, their treatment of Palestinians in the occupied territories is apartheid, okay? It's apartheid. It's not like apartheid or apartheid-esque. It's apartheid. Okay, they're on the wrong side of history here. And, and uh, if the news would report it, then people would be thinking very differently about this. But the news is not going to report it. The news won't report that these people are uh, protesting outside of these big gala dog and pony show conventions and getting their skulls cracked and getting put in jail for no reason. They're not going to report that, but it's happening. Okay. And, uh, you know, now is not the time to roll over and play dead. In my opinion, you got two choices in America these days. You can flee while you still can, or you can fight. Those are your two choices. You, you know, you have to choose one or the other. If you just sit there and ignore what's going on, you're going to find yourself wrapped in chains before you know it. You have to get involved. You have to become a citizen and get involved in your own government before it's too late. You know, get, uh, get knowledgeable about the world and what's going on. Uh, turn off the TV. Turn off the news. Stop letting them brainwash you. Find out what's going on in the world and stand up for the basic basic human rights of all human beings and the basic justice and uh, morality that you claim to believe in before it's too late. Thanks for watching.